One of the biggest problems when trying to shoot professional looking video on mobile phones is getting rid of shake and jitter while recording shots where the camera is handheld. The solution to this is to use a stabilizer to hold the camera for you while you're moving. Other accessories such as lenses, apps, and filters will help compose your image but there isn't anything quite as distracting as having shaky, jittery footage. The Freefly Movi is a 3-axis gimbal stabilizer for iPhone and Android. It comes equipped with a fast charging USB-C port, an 8-hour battery life, and the Movi companion app to adjust settings and shooting modes. It's useful in almost any situation you might find yourself in while trying to record stable video. The Movi allows the user to move the camera without shake to give mobile video a professional and polished look. Shots come to life with dynamic movements instead of static still shots which are normally required to obtain a stable video. The Movi does not require trade-off. Stable and dynamic shots can both happen at the same time. I was originally interested in the Mobi because of its unique form factor, but I ultimately decided to stick with my Smooth Q instead because it was working out pretty well for me. When Oloclip released their iPhone 10 products, I decided to get Moment lenses instead because they were much better quality, but when I got them, they were too heavy for the Smooth Q, even with the counterweight, so I, I decided to get the Mobi then. Basically just because the Mobi could hold much heavier weights. It's way more professional looking and the app just works. Bluetooth isn't something that I've ever had to think about since I've owned it. It's much easier to use than the Smooth Q app and the shooting modes are way easier to get to. And because the Bluetooth is so stable, they work consistently when you need them to. The Movi holds any moment lens with relative ease and the auto calibrate feature works pretty well to keep the gimbal level. The additional counterweight system is required for the V2 wide lens and filter mount, but it screws on easy and does a great job when balanced properly. Balancing the gimbal is pretty simple and only needs to be done once unless you want to mount another lens. The hoodie attachment allows you to attach a microphone, but it is quite overpriced for what it is and requires a non-included Allen key to add or remove attachments. It is also incredibly difficult to add or remove the hoodie mount from the Movi. When it is all set up, it works great. It just takes a little bit more time than I would prefer. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, Shane and I bought a car together. And here's a video we made using the Movi featuring the car, um, including some drone shots, but basically we were just trying to demonstrate all the shooting modes on the Movi. My current setup is a little bit overkill, but it takes care of most of the issues I had trying to film myself with the iPhone's rear facing camera. The counterweight seems to hold as much weight as I can throw at it, and the microphone gives better audio quality and cuts out wind noise. The Manfrotto twist grip allows me to connect the phone and microphone to the Movi using the hoodie attachment. The Moment Wide Lens lets me hold the camera closer to my face while maintaining the wide viewing angle. I also use a variable ND filter to maintain shutter speeds and motion blur. And finally, I use an iPhone SE as a monitor to check and see if framing and exposure are correct. Normally the iPhone is used as a drone remote controller, but it works perfectly with the Movi and the iPhone X as a monitor. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts and questions below. If you disliked it, let me know what I can do better in future videos. Either way, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.